everybody. Uh, this is our Rachel from Blue Jane Creations. Uh, hope everybody's doing all right. I just wanted to jump on really quick before I get started. Um, I just got this 6x6 paper pad from Echo Park in one of their recent sales. So I thought, you know, why don't I just come on and make some cards? Um, I won't be talking while I do that. I'll put that part on speed up. But I just wanted to um, go over what I got really quick. You know the stuff that uh, here's some of the cardstock that I'm starting out with there's 11 pre-made card bases and I pulled some of the smaller white white color to the side if I need it and then I did get the new saltwater taffy and the inker refill for the distress a really really pretty color and depending on what you pair it with it can look a little more pink it can look a little more orange so it is going to complement the card palette, the color palette, I should say, really nicely. So I'm going to bring that in. And then I have some pre-made flowers. I know I put a little video up showing me practicing making paper flowers, but these are already done. So I'm trying to use up the stuff that I already had before I really launch into using the stuff that I'm learning how to make. Um, and these are really pretty too for the girl cards. So I'm going to bring that in. And like I said, I was going to just really quickly, um, these are some of the cut aparts. The only thing I noticed on here in the, in the processing when they were making the pads, it looks like these got a little bit cut off. So I'm not sure if I'll move, if I'll use the ones on the bottom, but they are still super cute. And if I need to, you got the pattern on the back. So they have these cut aparts that you can use. And I'll show you the flip side too. All of these are double sided. So, so cute though. I just love this paper pad. Unfortunately, the pad for the boy paper, they ran out of it before they were able to fill my order. So I didn't get it, sadly. But that's all right. I'm happy with the girl. So there's this pattern, and I'm trying to keep it pretty quick and on point because I can get sidetracked very easily. So I, that's why I trend right now to not do a lot of talking in the videos. Well, you know, until I kind of learn the technique to stay focused and keep the video moving rather than getting off on a tangent all the time. So. We got some really pretty florals, some, I guess that would be considered a gingham, and then a little mobile pattern, and then flipping it all over, we got more plaid kind of color. I think I already showed that one. Really cute swans, making sure this is staying on camera. We got the wood, we got some clouds, um, just a solid background color. That's a really nice shade. It's almost like a, like it's more of a coral, light shades of coral. And then a like a diamond pattern. And you got some more floral background. Um, and you've got, looks like little baby pins for when you used to have the old cloth diapers. And then uh, some polka dot speckly paper. And then a solid green. This is really nice too. This is probably one of my favorite shades of green. Um, and then I believe this is the last one. Yes, we got just like, it's little stars. Um, so that is the paper pad collection that I got that I'm going to use. That is it for the chatty portion. I did pretty good. I'm only nine minutes. And I'm going to put this on speed up. And then the rest of it will just have the music. Um, I'm not sure if I'll get a chance to come in and talk about the cards when they're done. But either way, I'll put up pictures at the end like I do if you want to see the finished product. And yeah, so like I said, hope everybody's doing good. Hope you guys are having a great day. And um, I will chat with you guys soon.
Okay, so it's a little bit later, um, but I did complete the 10 cards that I was making from this pink and, not pink and main, Echo Park Baby Girl 6x6 paper pad. And when I'm done showing you this little bit of what's left, then I will have pictures put up in the at the end of the video to show you the final the final cards. So I got three full sheets, some scrappy bits, and then some of the cut aparts that I can definitely use in other cards, whether it's using up the remainder of this or other paper that I have. These will work well with a lot of things that I have in my stash. So um, thank you guys for watching. And I know I put the little thing up, but the, you know, if you like what you see in any tips or this video or other videos, be sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys soon.